Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And today we're going to be looking into this album's 10th anniversary, and it's from, well, one of the band, bands were one of my favorite deathcore bands. Well, they sadly had broken up a few years ago. Oh, so, um, yeah, and we're going to be talking about their fourth album and final album called This Is Where It Ends. This was the band's fourth and final album. <laughs> Album released on July 26th, 2011 through Nuclear Blast Records. Now, this follows up their uh, previous album, which came out in 2008, called Awaken the Dreamers, and that was a pretty good album. But with this album, they had a little bit of a lineup change. They had, of course, they had uh, Francesco Gorazzato on lead guitars, and they also had uh, Adam Pierce playing drums with them. Um... And this album, I just think, is a really good album, and it's a shame that this is the last album they put out. Uh, let's just talk about like the vocals. Like Eddie Hermida's vocals on this is really great, right? And he just sounds just like goes from like the low guttural sound thing to thing vocals to like very high pitched. Um, and just the guitar work on this album is really great compared to like some of their previous albums, of course, from uh, Ben Oram and Francesco Arzado. Both come up with some great riffs and just francesco's leads on this is really great um the bass on this album i is a, a little bit audible i kind of wish i think wish mike tenor's bass stayed out now a little bit more and drumming wise uh, adam pierce in my opinion i think is probably the best drummer at also parish had and sadly this was i think the only album with him if i'm not mistaken so yeah without further ado let's dive into this album track by track now starting things off is divine illusion now right from the get-go all the instruments are just come at you at uh, full speed and just all mayhem breaks loose and the distortion of this guitar is, or just the guitar tone on this album is kind of sounds something from awaken the dreamers but i feel like the whole instrument the the whole instrumentation is tired than ever and especially within the breakdowns and this is in my opinion one of the most technical and best albums i've heard it's from 2011 and it has sort of like that classic all show parish sound and half the time is just pure technicality and volume and the half the other their time the sound of the music is almost kind of very atmospheric at times um then we move on to there is nothing left now now this song sounds kind of like just straight up melodic death metal a little bit musically kind of like something from you would hear from at the gates combined with some really great melodies and some shred tastic madness i if i have to say say myself um procession of ashes now this song kind of like takes a dial back with a more kind of like groovy deathcore feel Kill, but it wouldn't have failed if it weren't for francesco's fantastic leads throughout but especially in the pre-chorus i feel like the tapping lick is just badass all around and then there's also love like the somber kind of like clean section that just ends the song really great song um then we move on to pure a pure evil now this pretty much brings back the speed with just a heavy emphasis on francesco's shred ability and a lot of like sweep picking and just tapping sections that really just mixed up the song and just really keeps it really just and creative and flowing and i don't know it, it's just really think that in my opinion the band has breathed new life 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 and i also really think that adam pierce just has the great chops to deliver for and i just well, i love sort of like the sudden drop and the increase in the tempo for the solo of the song is really great um Embrace the Curse is up next, and this song kind of sounds like something from The Price of Existence days. Is, and with the addition of Francesco and Adam on this is just a great transition with them both sort of like integrating their sort of individual playing into All Shall Perish. And just like the palm of power chords and just the blistering double kick is just fucking amazing. Um, next up is Spineless. Now, Spineless, just right from the get-go, just starts off with just some insane fast-tapping guitars, and which kind of almost reminds me a little bit of Rings of Saturn musically. And it also has some sick drumming and just some really sick vocals from Eddie. And then we get to The Past That Will Haunt Us Both, which comes up next. Now, this pretty much shows that it doesn't have to be just three minutes of just numbers that are just beating around in order just to create a amazing deathcore song and the, the guitar work is really noticeable on this track and he just oh great song um next up is royalty into exile now musically this has a little bit of like swedish mellow death vibes in the guitar and it sounds really good and especially the vocals from eddie it almost kind of sounds well it's not clean vocals per se but it's also cleanish where it's kind of screaming but you can hear it a little hear it i guess which is interesting i don't know um Next two songs are My Retaliation and Rebirth. 
both really great songs. I just, I don't know. I just heart, I just love them. Um, then we get to The Death Plague. Now, this song features a guest appearance from uh, Alex Arian, who's one of the vocalists for probably the band that started Deathcore, Despised Icon. And his vo guest appearance in here is really great. He kills it along with, with vocals along with Eddie is fucking great. Um, and then we we close things out pretty interesting with the final song on the album called In This Life of Pain. Pain, which has starts off very soft with some piano number, but then just very soothing with just some clean guitars and piano and then after the half of it, it just turns into just a violent guitar thunderstorm and this is actually the only time you could actually hear sort of like clear vocals in the background now um this song now this version i have is a digi pack and it has a bonus track which is called nobleza en, en exilio which is just royalty in exile but the lyrics are actually sung in spanish which is pretty much this the exact same song but just with the uh, the, the lyrics sung in Spanish, so there's nothing really to comment on. Now, overall, this is where it ends by All Shall Perish. Really sick album, and I think, in my opinion, this band is really underrated, and sadly, this was their final album. Um, and who knew that this it would be, ironically, would be titled This Is Where It Ends. Um, and, you know, and of course, Eddie Hermida is now the vocalist for Suicide Silence. Uh, Francisco Rosado is killing it with uh, Light the Torch. Um, and I just really miss these guys. They have, they were really great. Um, so if I were to get a song of score, I'm going to give This Is Where It Ends by All Shall Perish a pretty good 9 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album. And I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.